cliff, just one of many issues that folks seem to want bipartisan agreement on. But after the record $6 billion campaign blitz that the, in the end left the political control in Washington completely unchanged, will we really see any break to the gridlock? Time for a fair and balanced debate. Simon Rosenberg is president and founder of NDN. He's a former Clinton campaign advisor. And Pete Snyder is chairman of Virginia Victory 2012. He's also a Fox News contributor. Gentlemen, good to see you. So, Pete, cooperation, how much and where? Well, I think this is a tremendous opportunity for Barack Obama to lead. Uh, he chose not to do that at the start of his administration in 08. He, instead of focusing on the economy, went right after Obamacare. I th he's a basketball player. I think he could pull the ultimate head fake and actually not uh, raise rates on small businesses. The markets would soar. Uh, he'd get a lot of goodwill. He gets a budget in place and doesn't touch tax rates on small businesses. I think his approval rate ratings and the market goes through the roof. Uh, I had thought that maybe we would hear from Pete where the Republicans would be willing to compromise instead of where he thinks the president should be willing to compromise. But, Simon, that said, 47 percent of the American people voted for Mitt Romney and the, and the points that he was making during the campaign. Don't those folks have any kind of say in this? Sure, uh, absolutely. And I think, the, I think the country wants, I think as the president said, that there, he got a mandate for action. And I think it's now going to come down to uh, his leadership, along with the House and Senate leaders, and obviously all the rank and file in the House and Senate, to come up with a deal. I think this can get done over the next six months. I don't think the math is that hard. I think the politics are hard, but I think that can get worked through because I think there is much more unanimity now that something really has to get done now. This is the time to get it done. It's right after an election, the beginning of a four-year presidential term. So I'm an optimist that the two parties can come together and work this through. Uh, Pete, over the weekend on Fox News Sunday, we just saw a clip from that show, but Bill Kristol was also on that program, and he said that he personally doesn't think it'll kill the country to raise taxes on millionaires. He said that's what his thinking is. Did, did Bill Crystal give Republicans cover, uh, Washington on, on Capitol Hill, cover by saying what he said about raising taxes on the rich? I, I don't think so. I'm a small business owner. The vast majority of small business owners fit into that category. Uh, raising rates will have a crippling effect on hiring and getting them moving again. We really need to look at entitlement reforms. We really need to actually have a budget for the first time in four years the United States of America. And again, you know, Barack Obama is going to be looking at his legacy and he's going to be looking at the markets. He has a terrific opportunity right here and right now to embrace small big business, get the markets growing again, and really do a lot for his legacy in the long run. Simon, Americans do seem to want to see a certain level of cooperation between the parties. Yeah. Um, you know, but this is a president who has not really shown a willingness uh, to reach across the aisle. Now in his second term, does that change? Well, I don't agree with the first statement, but I, I think that he's made it clear from his uh, statements of the last few days that he expects to work with John Boehner and the Republicans and Mitch McConnell in the Senate to try to, you know, tackle a few big things. And I think that one of the things that my, my the other guest said, which is just fallacious and wrong and, and just shouldn't be repeated, is that the idea that the raising rates on people over $250,000 is going to hit a majority of small business owners. Simon, that's just not true. Not that's, just not true. that's just not true. It's not true. You can break. keep saying it doesn't make it true. 97% of a business small business life, owners Simon. will be exempt from it. No second clue. thing is, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. The second thing is that under Bill Clinton, we raised taxes on rich people. We saw the biggest economic boom in American history. Under George Bush, we lowered taxes on rich people, and we went into economic ruin. So this is there the is not a direct connection. No connection. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish is that so there is not based on our own experience a direct connection between raising rates and wealth on wealthy people and the economy going uh, going down. In fact, the opposite happened. And so you can keep saying it. It doesn't make it true. All right. Go ahead, Pete. I'll Simon. give you the final word here. Simon, you have absolutely no experience in the private sector, never run a business. That's the problem when you have policy I run a business for 16 years, trying, Pete. Nice try. Nice try, Pete. Nice try, Pete. Uh, Simon, a solution for America. Small businesses yeah. are the answers here, and the president has a great opportunity to lead. A small business for 16 years, uh, Pete. For not 16 everything years. was decided last yep. Tuesday. Not everything was yep. settled. <laughs> so we'll continue the conversation. Uh, Simon and Pete, we'll have you back yep. again soon. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Sure. And we'll put their resumes up so then our, our, we can see.